Hello, hello guys and welcome back to my next video here. Today we will have a look at my clan war attacks. What can you do here when you can plan with Queen Judge Lalo? And what do you see? What are the yeah, hard points of the base? What can you abuse? If it's not that good base building and how you can swag your Royal Champion and this you will see in this attack. So what can we do here in this one? My plan was I can Queen Judge the Town Hall which not that much investment, the value is insane here, what I will get. I get a spell tower, the multi tower, two bows, town hall monolith, both sweepers, and you see it at the top of the base. I can take it perfectly for my flameflinger, that my flameflinger will get the multi tower, and with the flames of the flameflinger, I will also get the enemy queen. So this was the plan, and this is looking pretty perfect here for this base. My king at the same time, I can play for the other two heroes, for the enemy king, for the royal champion here. And at the same time the queen is going not into the tower compartment. Okay, so I have to play my king earlier than planned. So that my queen will go back here to the town hall. And now I have to see what can I do here with my king. I try to funnel the king into the compartment. Maybe I could have um, yeah, planned with more sneaky so that I can funnel my king pressure at this time, but you see, it still works. Queen at the town hall with the rage on the freeze for the healers on the monolith. No problem for my queen to take it out. I have one war break left. I thought about how can I try to play this for the queen, but at this time, 1 minute 20 left. I start my Lalo here as soon as possible. No sweepers left. I made an early haste so that my loons are fast in the base and with the vulnerability and the rage. So, now I invest the freeze here so that my Lalo can power through the corner here with the multi arch tower, the air ball, the air defense and all that stuff. My queen still through the opened walls from the flameflinger. Going into the 10 o'clock direction, my Lalo still alive, I have my RC still left. And look at this, this is such an overkill, I don't need my royal champion. And this is how you can crack those spaces. This town of touch was too strong and the Lalo with the early haste. The early ward ability and the rage and the core crushed the space completely. So now have a look at the next base. So here we have again a diamond looking base here. The same army of the clan war and what can I do here? It's a similar total compartment. I have to use early spells here to keep my queen alive but this is fine. So, Queen is still alive, taking out the monolith, also getting a Sam for my healers, not perfect here for my Queen Judge. But what was the plan here? I wanted to charge the Tornor and to funnel her back, so that I can maybe wall break her at the Builder Hut, or funnel with an Invis. But the next Sam for my healers are only 3 healers still alive with a Unicorn, and this isn't that much, my Queen is still walking. Thinking about what can I use here for spells, how can I try to push her back. And now I saw, okay, the Flamefinger did already a bit of funnel. And with the wall break, maybe she will get right by the wall break is trolling. The tra wall break doesn't open here for me where I want to go. So my queen is going back for the town hall. Very nice for me, but clan castle coming out with the rage and have a look at this. This was so necessary to use the inverse, otherwise one second later my queen would be dead in ability. And now queen running to the air bow and I decide, okay, there's a rage multi in front of tower. I have to use my royal champion to keep maybe my healers alive and my queen. Not sure if this will work and starting off the Lalo here. My healers a bit alive, queen is already dead and now the same Lalo. As I said in the earlier attack, early haste, early one ability and then rage in the core against the high DP buildings with eagle with monolith with multi tower and so on and have a look how this can work with the hound in the vulnerability still alive tanking the last air defense here so that the air defense will also go down freeze on the multi tower the royal champion in the core is clutch clearing out those multi towers and then this is the next triple for me so perfect town hall charge i guess i get the town hall not much more but the lalo is way too op when you use this spell combinations with the vulnerability i can suggest you try this in your own attacks especially when you can plan it in like clan war attacks so what was the next plan here on this base it was a short yeti bloom maybe 
I guess, yeah, it was baited, but it's no problem because I can invest the rage and the monolith will go down either way. So, what can I do here? The rage. Wow. The multi furnace tower also going down. This is perfect value here for me. With the Yeti Blimp, I get the enemy warden, the monolith, and the multi furnace tower. Although it was a bit baited with the sands. So, what is the plan here for my Queen Charge? I can play my Queen into the Ricochet Cannon channel here, so to the Scattershot compartment, at the same time funnel with my King and wall breaking the King to the Tesla, to the dead zone, because the Queen will be stuck behind the, uh, in the dead zone, so that my King can kill here the enemy Queen, will go out again and funnel here for my Queen. So, I have to make sure that the next wall breaks will be perfect because I want to wall break towards the sweeper. You can see this wall break, then I will charge the tunnel from behind, from the back. So, and then I will also reach the eagle in the core, the multi furnace tower. Freezing here because of the high damage, I didn't want to invest a rage yet because I want to rage aggressive towards the town hall. So, how can this work? But now I saw, okay. The eagle is on the queen on the queen again. So next spell I have to use here, and the queen is going up to the town hall. At the same time, one minute twenty left. I had had to start my Lalo, and I wasn't sure from where can I play my Lalo. When I started directly into the scatter, there wouldn't have been a perfect pathing, I guess. So I decided I will start it a bit strange from four o'clock, I guess. But then I have already loons here in the core. And with the Warren ability, I will get this Royal Champion from outside to funnel the rest of the Lalo towards the core. The Headhunters are triggering the Rage. This is, I guess, interesting for me. Because then my Royal Champion backends don't have that much damage. But you see now both Expos on Royal Champion and Queen making very much damage here. Rage for my Royal Champion at this time. Is my Royal Champion, He's go she's going towards the Expo. And in the Rage with the ability, multi tower gets damage. The King is getting down by the Rage from the Royal Champion. Warden still alive and... <sighs> look at the time. Have a look at the time. I have 25 seconds left for 8 buildings. But I can't reach the scatter shot with my Queen from this side. I can't reach the scatter shot and only 2 healers alive. The cannon on my Queen, the Expo on the Queen. The Expo... The Expo... The Expo kills my Queen. I have 8 seconds left and is this still enough? I have Diggy alive, I have Warden alive, I have healers alive, they aren't doing anything. But Diggy with cleanup with Warden and... It is enough. Not that overkill, but it is enough for me. I guess the charge was to get the Lala was... Yeah, I could have played better, but this is enough for me. So, what can I do at the next base of this enemy here? I decided on this box base, very toxic looking to be honest, so I didn't thought, okay, this base, easy snack, I do this and this and then this is a safe triple. No, I thought I will try something different. So, I will play the Lock Launcher for the Eagle and the Multi here, because there isn't that much damage here for my Lock Launcher regarding the, the, the Multi, the Expo now, but maybe I will get the Multi Inferno Tower either way. So, what am I yet is doing? The Gold storage is going down and the, I guess, the, was it the rocket loon killing the multi? Very important here for me, so this funnel is perfect. Why do I play a lock launcher, not a blimp? A blimp could have been easily trapped with two sams and maybe I have had to invest a rage to get all that value that I wanted to get. But now this time I'm losing my queen ability early and with the arches of the clan castle my queen is running to the eagle compartment. What is going on here? This wasn't planned, this is completely laterally style now. So, what is my queen doing here? I was really confused. Now the Coco Loon triggering out the rage and have a look at the damage. The rage scatter shot, the archer tower, the ground bow on my queen. This is insane much damage. I tried to war break more towards the tower with the rage tower. And what can my queen still get here? The giant bombs and all that bombs and you see it, the war breaks didn't connect to my queen. So it was clear, okay, my queen, she won't get the town or she will go down earlier um, as planned. So queen is going down, no investing more rages here. And then can this still be enough? There's the town hall still alive, the monolith and the whole rage setup. And my royal champion with healers. Can this still be enough? I play my headhunters 
for the enemy queen. The enemy queen is not going down. I'm freezing all that stuff with the Tesla, the enemy queen. And have a look at the Lalo. The Lalo has the perfect passing towards the scatter shot. And my warden still alive. The Ole is still alive. The Ole in the rage. Look at her. The Ole is killing the enemy queen. And now. And now it's close as the attack before. It's close the same way. One loon still alive. The one with clean up. The Ole and the Phoenix. But is this still enough? 4% in 18 seconds. The loon is tanking here. The archer tower will make a drop. Archer tower is going down. And now this is the next triple here for me. So let's have a look at the ring base. How was the plan to kill this ring base here? As I said in the earlier video against ring bases, a perfect way to counter them is when you open it up with the Yeti Blimp. Why a Yeti Blimp? With this you can create at first point a pathing for your queen. So you, you give a direction for the queen where she will go. At the same time you will get out a bit of damage like here in ground bow and the air hero. Not that much value but it's better than nothing I guess. So. And the third time is, the third point is, that you lure out the clan castle. So I don't have to fight the clan castle in an ugly timing, where the monolith to scatter shots, for example, are on my queen. So, what's the next step? You have to funnel your king, so that the other side of your charge is also funneled. When you have a look at my queen charge, the war was a second too late, so my queen isn't going here directly towards the uh, monolith, but the queen is going to the clan castle. I'm using my king ability so that my king will funnel here. And the king is going to the multi inferno. And with the giant gauntlet and his phoenix, multi inferno tower also is going down. I can rage at my queen, but I have to invest the freeze as soon as the queen will go towards the town hall. Otherwise, the town will be invisible. And this on the ring base is kind of risky when you charge it. So you have to know where will your queen go. I wasn't that sure, so I'm just freezing the inverse tower and then the town hall will go down. So 1 minute 20 left, now starting the Lalo. It would be perfect when you it started from behind a sweeper. Wasn't possible here for me because both sweepers are still alive. I'm using my queen ability here in the core. I'm using my one ability, not the hound in it. That's not perfect, but I try to secure here the attack. Raging up my queen because my queen don't have that much damage and with the rage she can clear out the whole base no matter what will come. So. Royal Champion placed into the enemy king, not that's perfect here for me, this timing here. Also with Diggy and not the fox, because at this time the, my fox was upgrading. So um, yeah, Royal Champion has a lot of damage already, but my, like I said, my queen's still alive and they are clearing the whole base. So what can we do in this attack? Next box space at this time. And how can you crack those bases? My plan was I do a far side charge on playing my king with this giant gauntlet and the, and the ability here for the scatter shot and the archer tower and all that stuff. Maybe loading out the rage tower and getting the funnel for my queen and taking out damage. So scatter shot is going down, the rickshaw also going down. This would be nice, but I guess no, it's a bit too hard. So no problem here. I'm delaying my healers because of the air defenses, so that they aren't a problem. So now, rage setup here with two ground balls monolith, and look at this damage. When I don't use the invisible, maybe my queen is dying through the ability, so this was important here for me. Warbreak to the core, so that I can reach the multi tower in the core. Flame fling at the same time, don't get that much value, but he will funnel my queen, so that my queen is going into the core and can clear out all those key defenses. So, what do I do here? I'm testing with the loon at 9.30, whether there are any Tesla, they could hold on my flame flinger to funnel here more, getting the ricochet cannon. So, here, queen going into the eagle, she can reach the eagle from this side, and now I start my Lalo into the town hall. No air defense left, so the hound isn't, yeah, <laughs> Luring that much traps out, I guess. So, that's uh, okay. So, Lalo into the town hall. Rage up here at the 3 o'clock side so that I can get the ground ball and the. There yeah, are ground damage here for the back end. And you know, 
Fodder's here still alive off the base. My flame fling is going up. The flame fling did a great job in the attack, funneling out the whole side for my queen. And I have some loons left. I have also my royal champion left, so I'm placing my royal champion here from the yeah one o'clock side, so that the multi arch tower in the back end will also go down. Not sure if the royal champion was needed, but I don't have to swag it because maybe you did see it. The enemy did have a um, empty clan castle so i could have played one more skeleton spell with the attack so this was also if there would have been a clan castle in this attack i don't think that this would have made a difference so let's have a look at the next base here ring base from the same opponent maybe you know this ring base a bit fame in legend league at the moment so maybe you can find out how you can crack this with, with Queen Judge Lalo. Funnel here with my king. I'm using a headhunter. So the queen is no problem here. Next wall break for my queen and the flame fling here again. So that the flame flinger will funnel for my queen. So that my queen will for sure go into this compartment here. King with the ability taking out the, taking out the gold storage and tanking for my queen so that I don't have to use that much spells here early in this point. So queen taking out all those defenses, flame fling a perfect pathing, queen going into the town hall, I'm making her invisible because otherwise town hall on it, scattered her on a ground ball, multi for a tower and, with the, and if there's a skeleton trap to distract the queen I would have to invest more spells. So invis, invis was a perfect decision here, using my queen ability and this time it was clear for me, yeah, my queen, I can't survive. But it's not a big issue because the queen also did get nice value here. The poison tower behind the clan castle also shot, I guess, towards the queen or something else. Not, uh, not that sure what's happened there, but I have still my spells here left and my Lalo to um, yeah, create this pathing here and powering through the core. I have two balloon groups, one on the outside, one in the core, so that I can crush the monolith here and the aim was here that my royal champion is surviving because when my royal champion survives I can kill out the whole base. So you see royal champion in the core, busy with some ground skeleton traps, so I'm using the poison on it. Royal champion still alive, I can use her ability, so last defense is also going down and with some cleanup troops. This is no problem. So, yeah, thanks you for spectating. I hope I could help you and see you again tomorrow.